Hello everyone, welcome to CodeTube channel. In this tutorial, we will learn about glob module of Python. Okay, so this glob module is basically used to retrieve files from any particular folder. Like for example, in your folder, you have lots of files, like lots of text files or lots of images. Now, if you want to use all those images in your program, then how you can use it? So you can use it with the help of glob. So this glob will help you to iterate all through the images and there are also some uh, additional features of glob module and those features are like wildcard characters. So I'll also explain you like how you can use wildcard characters in the glob module. So let's start with it. So the first thing is you need to import the glob module and uh, the step is optional. Okay. So you need to import the glob module then you just need to assign one variable which is equal to glob dot glob and here need to specify the path where your actual data is stored and uh, then you can get all the images or whatever data is there okay so currently i am i am fetching the text files so i have written dot txt and uh, star this asterisk indicates all okay so all the files will be retrieved in that particular folder so here this is the optional step like you can also use the OS module like import OS import then this is the step which will, which will help us to change the directory for for a, for example if you want to switch to a particular directory then you can add this step OS dot change directory then here is the path and then um, on this particular path uh, all the text files whatever we have will be fetched and then you can get it okay so this is the this is the use of the asterisk thing where you can get access to all the files okay so uh, you can also use this path directly here here you can directly add this path and you can execute so if i press the run button then the file then the code is executed and these are the files which are present in that particular folder and the folder is text files okay so even i can show you so this is these are the text file this is the folder which i'm using so text files so these are the text files here book one book two up till book six these are the two folders but we cannot uh, uh, access these two folders because currently we are using the uh, simple command and that command is glob dot glob star dot txt that's why only the text file got uh, text uh, text files we got here okay and then finally we are printing the uh, variable so basically this glob dot glob returns list so whatever the output will be will be stored in the list and then uh, it is printed so this is the first uh, wildcard character that is uh, asterisk which you can use along with the glob model mm, the next is like for example uh, for example if there are millions of text files or if there are lots of text files and if you just want specific number of uh, mm, uh, text files you don't want all the 10,000 files you just want uh, 200 or 300 files and how to get that so it's it's the same thing like what what uh, change we need to do here what we did here we just wrote star dot text instead of writing asterisk dot text we just need to define the range like how many files we want so 0 dash 3 so this is the pattern which we can provide along with the asterisk and then what we have done is uh, done here is uh, we are storing this result in my underscore files this list and then we are iterating through this list okay so for i in my underscore file print i so we will iterate through my underscore files and uh, the result will be printed here okay so here is the result the next is subdirectories like how to use subdirectories data okay now for example this is the folder as you can see this is the text files in this text file there are again two folders so there are two sub directories abc xyz in abc there is again pqr and in pqr there is one file so for example if i want to get the data for all the all the folders and subfolders then that is also possible with the help of glob module so you just have to write import glob files is equal to glob dot glob here provide the path like where, where your files are actually stored so this is the main path where the uh, where my files are actually stored so so all the files are stored in text files okay so i have uh, mentioned the path and other folders and subfolders are inside this text text files okay 
so i will pro provide path till your text files and then next step is just write this pattern star star slash slash star so it will give give you all the subfolder data okay then again whatever the data we will retrieve will be stored in this list files and then just iterate for our f in files printf okay so if i execute this then all the files within the subfolders uh, we can get so these are the files book 1 to 6 these are the files in the text files folder and these are the files like abc book 1 text abc pqr book 6 text c so we have got all the subfolders data as well the next is question mark question mark is again a wildcard character in glob and how to use it now for example if you want to get a particular pattern of data for example uh, let me show you one example now this these are this is the image files folder so here we have uh, image 1 image 2 image 3 image 4 and picture okay so i don't want this uh, picture i just want the files which starts with image okay so how to get that so you can use this question mark which is again uh, with the help of which you can create patterns so just write import glob write images is equal to glob dot glob provide path here okay this is the image path i am providing here and just write here the pattern so pattern is image question mark it means that just return the just return the files which starts with the name image so it will gives you the pattern uh, image 1 image 2 image 3 image 4 okay so let's try one more example like uh, even i want to check that so let's try like we will put here 1 2 3 okay 1 2 3 image and let's try to run this okay so see here we are not getting that uh, 1 2 3 image we are just getting the images which starts with one uh, which starts with uh, image okay so this is how you can use the star and question mark both as a wildcard characters in the glob module and with the help of glob module you can easily iterate through all the files so this is one of the important feature in the data science because um, in data science we work on lots of images and lots of text files so if you want to use the lots of images and lots of text files then you can easily use this module and iterate over your files. So thank you guys for watching this video. Please subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.